In this video, we are going to solve the 2006 AP Calculus AD FRQ question form B. Question number two. So it says, let f be the function defined for x is greater than or equal to 0, f of 0 equals 5. Those initial conditions are always important, so good to underline them. And f prime, the first derivative of f, is given by f prime of x is equal to e to the negative x divided by 4 sine x squared. The graph of y equals f of x, f prime of x is shown above. Use the graph of f prime to determine whether the graph of f is concave up, concave down, or neither on the interval one, x is between 1.7 and 1.9. Explain your reasoning. Okay, so if you look at this graph, it is definitely concave down, because if you look at this graph over here, f prime is decreasing, so it has to be concave down. So for part A, you would say the graph of f is concave down. Because f prime is decreasing, on the interval, one point seven to one point nine. Okay. So part B says on the interval 0 to 3, uh, well x is in between those, find the value of x which f has an absolute maximum, justify your answer. Okay, so what you need to do over here is you need to basically figure out if there's a min or a max, which is not that hard to do. It's pretty easy. So what you have to do over here is you have to test the endpoints. And you have to test where the slope changes from positive to negative, which would be this point right here. So you have to solve on your calculator. So you would solve uh, the function f prime of x. So you write e negative x divided by 4 sine x squared comma, uh, well, equals 0. You don't need that comma comma x on your TI-89 or whatever calculator you're using and when you solve it you're gonna get x is roughly about 1.774 I believe that's what I got so now we have to test the endpoints as well so we know f of 0 equals 5 that was a part that I underlined in the beginning it's kinda hard to see let me change the color so we could uh, so I could underline it Okay, now let me go back to that nice pink. Okay, so now we would also have to test f of 1.774, which equals 5 plus the integral 0 to 1.774, and you put f prime of x dx, and when you solve this, you get roughly about 5.67911. Okay, so now we also have to test f of 3. And when we do f of 3, you could write f of 0, or you could write the 5, plus 0 to 3, f prime of x, dx, which is a 5 plus, and in this case, I believe that number was 0.578. Seven, nine. So when you solve this, you're roughly going to get 5.579. So our max is over here. This is the absolute max. The absolute max. It's slightly bigger than the other one. Okay. The next one says write an equation for the line tangent to the graph of f at x equals 2. Okay, so that's pretty easy. So if you want to find a line tangent, you need two things. You need a point and you need a slope. 
So we ha we need to find two comma something. How do we find the point? You just integrate it. So you're going to do five plus f prime of x dx, and you would do zero to two. And when I did this, I got five point six two three, I believe six two three. Yes. So let me try to squeeze that in there. Five point six two three. Let me erase this. So okay, six two three, six two three. So now, now the last thing that we need is the slope. So we need to find the slope of Two. So now all you would do is plug this into the calculator, and when I did it, I got okay. So we found the slope to be negative 0.459. So now the last thing we have to do is just write it as an equation. So that's pretty easy. Let me just write that down over here. So now we got to use a form y2 minus y1 equals m parentheses x minus x2. So y minus the 5.623 equals the negative 4.59. Very important that you put that in parentheses and x minus 2. And that should be your equation. Or you can move over to 5.623 by adding it. And, but I would say just leave it like that. Okay, and I hope this video helps and I'll see you next time.